it really is uh, an introduction to the young players uh, coming up. You know, the players that are going to be in the draft in 2025. And certainly we've seen uh, a number of them. We've seen Gavin McKenna, Gavin McKenna uh, star at the uh, U18 for Canada. So there's no mystery about him. And, and there's a lot of really good young talent here. But, you know, for you, for the fans, uh, even for me, there's a, there's it's still a, a, a exploratory in, in a lot of ways. You know, you're seeing some players that you've seen, you might not have seen a lot, and you're and you're trying to build out what I call building out the dossier on these players, trying to okay, what are their strengths, and and you know they're good players. I mean, I, I, I've seen them at the U17, I've seen them in their leagues, I've seen some of them at the U18 because the, the younger players, the good ones, play up. So it, it's it's a really good. Uh, scenario uh, for for fans to watch the next generation of players. I'm going to go back to 2018 real quick, uh, Dustin, and two Edmonton Oilers that starred at the Holinka Gretzky tournament in 2018: Philip Broberg for Sweden and Dylan Holloway for Canada. And 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 just to give everybody a glimpse of what you can see. Now those two players are are, are finding their way right now, and people go, "Geez, that's a long time ago." Yeah, they yeah. both got drafted in 2019. But this is this is the the normal course of things. You know, it's it's four or five years before players really find their root. The vast majority of them. But that's what you're going to see here. You're going to see really top notch players. And uh, in my view, you know, Gavin McKenna. Who, who who I'm prepared to, uh, you know, start using the generational term. For is that him. good? Hey, eh? he he, he yeah. is that good, Dustin. And is and there a compare? What's the comparable, Craig? Like, does he does he remind you of anybody? Or uh, I, I'm not. I, I mean, he reminds me a lot. Of, like, like, he reminds me of a lot of different players. He, he yeah. he's got a Kucherov esque type quality to him. He he's he's a sneaky good goal scorer. And, and okay, uh, people go, what do you mean by sneaky? Well, he's such a good playmaker. He's so confident with the puck. But when you watch him play, if you if you sleep on his shot, he's going to bury it. And I mean, I guess there's no better way to put it than the, than the hat trick he scored in the U18 gold medal game. He <laughs> he's just such a well-rounded player. And, and you know, that's the, that's the early comparable. There might be a better one, but I mean, I, I think he's just scratching the surface of his abilities. You know, he's not eligible to the 2026 draft. And I very well think that he could be right in the mix for Team Canada Junior Team in Ottawa uh, come December. I think he's that good. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll freak out a couple of times calling some of his plays at this uh, Halinka Gretzky. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Now we'll we'll continue with this team in a second. But you did mention the World Junior Team. You were doing the show. You were watching the showcase, weren't you? Did you, did I, you I, check I, that? Well, out? I, I'm, I'm watching it tomorrow. So I, I okay. watched All right. USA Finland uh, yesterday. Okay. And then uh, tomorrow, Canada. I didn't. I, I didn't see the Sweden uh, Canada game. Uh, I was watching the USA Finland game. And, what'd you What'd you learn from that USA Finland t- Finland game? Well, here's what, so, so one of the things Finland's in Canada's group. Finland Finland isn't like Finland understands what they have available to them, and they're not going to have like uh, they're going to have skill in the top part of their lineup, but they're, they're not going to be a team that's going to skill you deeper down their lineup. They're going to come with a big, edgy group. Yesterday's game, they beat USA. Now, USA didn't have Ryan Leonard and Gabe Perot, Z. Bouillon playing, but the Finland didn't have some of their top players playing either. Finland's going to come to the World Junior Tournament, and they're going to be a hard out. They might not be the most talented team, and we've said that about Finland before. I, I, th- I was going to say, I think you just described every Finnish team ever yeah. a but, hard but, out, right? Like, <laughs> well, they're and, and they're going to be edgy. Like, you should have yeah. seen the game yesterday, Dustin. They went after. They went after the U.S. Like yesterday's game for Finland against USA was uh, a, a message that said, "This is what you can expect in in, in our pool." And you know, Canada is going to be in Finland's pool, so so we'll get a taste of that. When they uh, when they play, so it, it it it's a really good opportunity to to see how a team is going to be formed. And for the USA, I mean, their top players they they didn't play their top players or their returning players yesterday, but they have a. The, the, I think Canada, the U.S. and Sweden uh, at this point in time are the are the three favorites. You know, the 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 three leading teams uh, to compete for gold heading into the junior. What what about the age groups for those other two nations coming into this uh, Holinka Gretzky next week? 
Well, Sweden is missing their best player. Anton Frondel very well could be the first overall pick in the NHL draft in 2025. He's He's got a Peter Forsberg-type approach to the game. Now, listen, oh boy. Peter Forsberg was a great player. And, you know, I, the, the, you know, Bob McKenzie uses the term lowercase. So I'll say lowercase Peter Forsberg. But Anton Frondel, who's just – like he's he, he's just a terrific player he's re, he's rehabbing from an injury and so what they he's skating he's playing but they want him to be really ready for when the season gets going in september so they didn't bring him over they know how good he is he he, he very well may be at the world junior tournament in ottawa as well but s- s- some really good players the swedish team uh at the uh, u17 last year in charlottetown was a really good team they're big they can skate and and they got some really good players they're missing frondell but they got some. They have some really good talent on that team. They got a top goaltender. Uh, his name is Lovi Aronstam, and he 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 played for Sweden at the U18 tournament as an underage, and and he's a terrific goaltender. I mean, he looks uh, right now like very well the best goaltender for the 2025 draft. So you're going to get a good look at him. The USA sends. Uh, they don't send their national team development program players. They send their next group of players. Okay. And we'll talk about it during the tournament, but the reason they, they, they don't send their NTDP players is because they don't want the, – the, the, the kids are young. They come into Plymouth. They get billeted, and they'd have to start billeting them in the middle of July. And then there's insurance uh, yeah, issues yeah. and everything. So that's why they don't come to the Holinka tournament, you know, because they, they, it's full-time school. It's like a boarding school, call it, right, the National Team Development Program. They they go to the public school. You know, you're not going to bring them in and then send them home. And certainly, that you know, we'd like to see uh, the NTDP play. But, you know, one of the things that's going to happen this year is the NTDP team is going to play two games against a, a, a CHL prospect group. And yeah, two games yeah. in November. Yeah, so so there's going to be an opportunity for uh, for some best on best uh, international competition there. Finland, uh, Finland will be Finland will be Finland. Uh, I, I, again, I don't think they have high end talent based on what I saw at the U17. Czechia is going to be really interesting, Dustin. Czechia yeah, so they has some a few guys. really good yeah. play. Yeah, they do. They have some really talented players. A lot of the Czechia players end up coming and playing in the CHL and. Certainly, uh, you, you're going to see some of these players uh, in the CHL, you know, coming into their draft year. But they're going to be a good team. You know, Germany, Switzerland, a little bit tougher. Slovakia, uh, you know, they they held their own at the uh, at the U18, and with, with a lot of these players, I think they have eight of the players that played at the U18. So they were a young team at the U18, but that experience is going to help them here. But you know, those three teams: Germany, Slovakia, and Switzerland are probably in that next group uh, of teams, but it, it, it's, it's quick, it's fast and it's highly competitive. As far as, as far as this Canadian group goes, everybody knows McKenna. I mean, if you just want to come out and watch McKenna, then make sure you come to the games at Rogers place. But who would be the guys who ride shotgun with McKenna? Like who, who are the other top end guys on this Canadian team? Well, I, I mean, you had, uh, I mean, the line they had at the Holinka camp, they had McKenna playing the left wing. They had Cole Reshney, who plays in Victoria, very, very good, smart player. And then they had Cameron Schmidt. Now, Cameron Schmidt is about a 5'8 uh, winger, played in Vancouver last year, had uh, had 30 goals. Now, it's hard to score 30 goals in the CHL when you're 19, let alone when you're 16. Jeez. He's a dim- yeah. he's a diminutive dynamo. He's a diminutive dynamo. He is such a such a gifted player. He's, he's so electric. And so, you know, the, 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 that was a line they played together. Uh, they had uh, they had uh, Caleb Denoyer. Now Denoyer played on the U18 team. He was the player that stepped in and took Roger McQueen's place after he got hurt. Roger got hurt at the U18, and Denoyer was the first overall pick in the Quebec League two years, not this past year, but the year before. Uh, uh, he's a driver. Emil Gite, the he, he's an elite goal scorer, and you know when 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 you watch that type of skill and you watch Brady Martin, you're going to love Brady Martin. Brady Martin plays in Sault Ste. Marie. He, he he's a big, agile, hard driving winger that you know is always in the mix. So the puck's always around him. He's always driving the puck to the net. Matthew Schaefer is a, is, is an excellent skating defenseman. Cameron Reed, excellent skating defenseman. You know, guys that can really make a really, really drive play from the back end. And 
certainly there's going to be some other players that uh, can, can can show their can show their medal, so to speak. But you know, those are those are you know seven players that I think are you know Canada is going to look eight players that Canada is going to look at that. And when I say Canada, Canada Canadian fans are going to look at yeah. and see, okay, these are pretty good players, and they are. Craig, one more for you before we let you go. Um, you get a hotel room that has like a couch in it. I I don't have a couch in my hotel room out here in Winnipeg. What's going on with this? Well, I mean, you're going to have to talk to our uh, to uh, <laughs> to our Lordship PG. Yeah, well, you he's know. he's actually in Winnipeg today, so I I will talk to. Oh, him he is. Well, yeah, well, I want well, I want the button is, room. I, I want the button you, room. Are Mike. you at the Are you at the Delta? I'm at the Delta. Yeah, that is a classic yeah, Delta. So here the Delta, Winnipeg, yeah. they take great care of us. When I go in there to do Jets games and whatnot, I stay always there. But you know what I would say is this: uh, uh, he's taken over the the top suite, so it wasn't available to you. That's all that's happened. <laughs> that's Trust what me. It was, if, right. if, if he if, if, if he was here with me, he would have this room, not me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, Craig. Well, I will. Uh, I will see you early next week, man. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for the time today. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a fun time, Dustin. It's going to be a lot of fun doing this tournament. Thanks.